Cristiano Ronaldo is always doing stuff to improve his physique, his efficiency, his looks, everything. Going by Instagram followers, he is the most famous person on earth, so he definitely has to keep up appearances. And while we're all aware of the insane workout routine and very strict diet he sticks to to keep his body looking that good, not a lot of people know that he also has help from other means. For the parts of the body that the gym or even a healthy diet cannot improve, Ronaldo uses injections. You know, everything must be perfect. But what exactly do those injections do and why does he take them? We'll answer those questions in a bit, but just before we get into that, have you heard of the Goal 90 FPL League? We finally decided to create a fantasy football league for all our fans and subscribers around the world, and you are welcome to join. You stand a chance to win a brand new PlayStation 5 if you're number one in the league at the end of the season. So, if you think you're badass at this FPL thing, click on the link in the description and come and battle with your fellow Goal 90 lovers and subscribers. Tell your friends and family about it too, and make sure to join before the new Premier League season kicks off. Let's get into manager mode. Now, to the reasons why Cristiano Ronaldo has injections on his genitals. The simple answer is to make it look bigger. Apparently, the Portugal captain injected Botox into his manhood to give him some extra thickness of about 1 to 3 centimeters. It's pretty uncommon to hear this being used by athletes, though. It's more popular in the porn industry. Don't even think about it. Of course, Cristiano Ronaldo is not trying to get into porn. As a matter of fact, he does not only inject Botox into his genitals, he also uses it on his face. No matter how much it might hurt to say it, Cristiano Ronaldo is actually getting old. He's fast approaching his 40s, and even though his incredible diet and workout routines have helped him maintain the body of a 20-something-year-old in his late 30s, they can't really do much for his face. And that's why he injects Botox into his face to maintain a youthful look as he ages. In addition to these, the five-time Ballon d'Or winner has probably had specific work done on different parts of his face. There are speculations that he had a nose job done some years back. A cosmetic surgeon, Alex Caridis, however, said that while it could be a nose job, it could also be nothing. It could just be that his face is going through the normal process of evolution that every other person's face goes through. Anyway, there are also speculations that he may have had fillers at one point or another because of how smooth his skin looks. But the jury's still out on this one too. However, what people seem to be more certain about is the job he had done on his hair. Ronaldo was once caught in public with signs of a receding hairline. But the next time he showed up in public, all those signs had disappeared. And when you consider that the hair transplant procedure is very common among footballers, it's not so far-fetched that the former Madrid man had one done. Another common procedure which Ronaldo most probably had done is switching up his teeth. Many footballers have either whitened their teeth or just straight up got veneers, and we think Ronaldo opted for the latter. No surprises there. Look at that million dollar smile. Finally, if you look at his eyebrows, you can also tell that Ronaldo has regular appointments at the beauty salon. These are some of the different ways that CR7 has invested in his really good looks. So, when you see him looking like a perfectly carved sculpture, just know that a lot of money and procedures went into that. Anyway, what's your favorite thing about Ronaldo's appearance? Is it his height? His abs? His hair? His quads? Whatever it is, just let us know in the comments. While you're at it, also let us know what club you think the current Man United man will be playing for this season. It'll be nice to come back to the comments in a few months from now and see who the profit among us is. As usual, give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to the channel. Also, turn on the bell notification so you never miss out on new content, and we will catch you in the next one. Bye!